First tonight, it was the second day of a very emotional testimony in the Jeremy Christian murder trial. Witnesses and their cell phone video revealed the horrors of the day that he is accused of killing two men on the max in May of 2017. Christian has since pleaded not guilty. Our Valina Jones been following this trial. She joins us live in front of the Multnomah County Courthouse. Valina. Jeff and Jennifer court just wrapped up today for the second day of the trial and I can tell you we have heard a lot of different testimony ranging from people who were there and witnessed that stabbing to law enforcement who responded after and we want to warn you that some of the images that you're about to see are graphic. The, the color was leaving his body. New video tonight shows Jeremy Christian slapping Talesian Namkai Meche's phone out of his hand, then push Micah Fletcher. Fletcher then pushes back. You can see Christian leave the train, threatening others with a knife. Morgan Noonan was on the max that day and describes the graphic details after the stabbing of Ricky Best. Waves of his blood were running down the aisle towards me. Like you would see when a wave finishes hitting the ocean. Pictures entered into evidence show Noonan, a former army medic helping to lesion, who was also stabbed. Off the train, other witnesses rushed to help. Did you see the defendant, Jeremy Christian? Yes, sir. And can you tell the jury about that? He came off the train and I noticed that he had a knife that was bloody. Jeremy uh, made a 90 degree uh, right turn to go up the stairs. The Marine was in his way. Jeremy Christian said, uh, do you want some too? I'll cut you also. Christian's attorneys are claiming he acted in self-defense, emphasizing his right to free speech. Defense today trying to debunk the claim that their client targeted groups of people based on race and religion. And so when you first talked about the event, you simply said that he was not directing his speech at anyone. He was just shouting really at the whole car of riders, mm -hmm. right? That was, that was your impression at that point. Mm -hmm. Amy Pacheco says Christian sat right next to her on the train. Pitcher show she grabbed Christian in the middle of the fight, but he never directed his focus towards her. Now, Pacheco later added to that statement with police claiming Christian made mention of Muslims several times during and before that attack. Now, coming up at 6, we'll hear testimony from another man who was trying to intervene on that Max train before the stabbing. We'll have more on what he's saying tonight. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Valina Jones, Point 6 News.